Hey, welcome back. Uh, so it's been a while. I've been uh, busy with multiple projects and new change of scenery, but I wanted to take you guys back to, this was over a year ago. Gosh, time flies by. This was uh, one of my favorite spots uh, as a kid. Uh, Thalia Creek, Trestle, in Virginia Beach. Uh, the Norfolk Southern Line used to run here. And I'm using this uh, new product called uh, Solvent Free Fluid by Gambling. And I wanted to give this a shot. I'm always curious about um, solvent free, non toxic stuff. And I said, you know what? Let me just, you know, throw caution into the wind. Let me just uh, fill my uh, usually uh, medium cup uh, that's using Gamsol, which is a highly refined uh, petroleum product, uh, and try this uh, Gamblin product. And I have to say, um, if you are new to plein air painting, you actually might like this. Uh, if you are a fast and loose painter, uh, you might enjoy this. Uh, I found it challenging. I do like to do uh, fast and loose, but I also like areas of uh, real tight areas of detail. And so like kind of like loose and then tight. And uh, I found this experience overall pretty enjoyable. It was tacky. And so it wasn't, how would you say, we kind of get used to our, um, how would you say, uh, we're, we're creatures of habit. We're used to certain things. And uh this was different and it was challenging, uh, but it was a beautiful day and I really enjoyed it. Uh, you can see here that it does run. So this is not what I would experience if I was using Gamsol. So this was a uh, learning, uh, and you can see the uh, drips down there. So it kind of does drip down to the uh, bottom. So you have to be careful about that and just be ever uh, vigilant when working with this uh, so that you don't have those drips. I would say if you paint thicker, uh, you know, just start, you know, really gopping paint on there, then yeah, this would probably work good. I like to work th uh, thin to thick. And if for the most part, this was really enjoyable. Uh, as you can see, no train passed by, but yeah, I've drawn enough trains that I can uh, pretty much draw them in my sleep. And uh, I wanted to have a fun little uh, diesel switcher train that's rolling across uh, usually the ones that came by were Norfolk Southern uh, but you know hey who doesn't like a nice little red train and uh, just kind of adding to that little memory and little charm of the place so some of the obstacles I had with this is that high tide low tide uh, high tide and low tide uh, come by pretty fast in here uh, so the water rises pretty quickly. So I have to be vigilant and make sure I make uh, notes. I uh, had to do a little bit of touch up when I got home with this, but overall, and I think it was just around the base of the bridge uh, with the water reflections. Those are always changing, but I had a lot of fun with this. So I'm also happy to say that uh, this painting also found a new home. So. I love these areas where, you know, uh, boyhood uh, memories, uh, and I'm glad that somebody's able to hang this in their home, and maybe it brings back memories for them of, you know, times gone by. Uh, so this uh, rail line is uh, defunct. It's, uh, I forgot the word for a defunct rail line, but uh, yeah, it's defunct, and actually the bridge is in pretty poor condition now. It's getting a little bit more dangerous to cross. So I'll have to come back and try, give this one another shot uh, on a nice day. I, uh, but this is was by far my favorite painting of the trestle and uh, re really had a fun time here. So uh, please uh, go ahead and comment and uh, I'll read your comments on the next uh, video I do and uh, Give some answers and some feedback uh, or questions. Answer some questions if you have some. Uh, once again, that uh, it's Gamsol, uh, not Gamsol, I'm sorry. It's Gamblin uh, Non-Toxic Medium. And uh, there, there's the finished one. You can see where I've done the touch-up of the uh, water. And I really like this. I, I was really happy that this came out as good as it did. 
So thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this and the, day, uh, the info I gave you. And I will see you later. Have a good holiday and a happy new year.